Luciano and Savannah's like LeBron out in Cleveland. I had to leave the beat, so when my city can't believe in, I refuse to be another young and I had dreaming. I push it like salt and pepper, but here for more than a season. Relevance is the reason. Longevity is my fuel, and the process gets me heated. Black. It's your motherfucking boy J Black, aka Black Man. Uh, I'm watching this video right now about this shit hot sun live. Let's get straight into it. I think I want to go in on this video on this particular subject. I also, also want to play devil's advocate. This is a great conversation. At the end of the day, this is a great conversation. So we can get this shit proper next year. Uh, Danny Myers, this is what it says. Danny Myers says why he feels the War Report's top 10 battle rappers poll was rigged. Um, War Report top 10 came out just recently came out how you uh, so how, how do you feel about that how you yo about? you know I'm, I'm not no emotional ass crybaby ass nigga about nothing you know what i'm saying if that's how they felt that's how they felt they had me at uh number 11 honorable mention you gotta think you know a lot of the traffic a lot of the hate is coming towards me because you know i am i was the face i was the host of that thing you know, even though I had one one list in particular, I wasn't the thirty, I wasn't all thirty five. I didn't account for all thirty five people. But you know, it's a lot of the comments coming towards me, a lot of the tweets coming towards me, a lot of the Facebook inbox messages coming towards me. So after this video, it's gonna be more. You know, him saying it's rigged. Uh, how sway? How sway? Yourself. How sway? How? How was this shit rigged, my nigga? You just, you in the video, you acknowledge that you've seen everyone's list. All the war report did, again, for the last time, all we did was say, hey, 35 people that that's, has respected opinions by the viewers, for the most part, like Mickey Fax, uh, fucking Poison Pen, Sarah Connor, Direct. Hey, who's your top 10? That's your top 10? Okay, we're gonna tally the points with the other people and that's it, that's literally it. There is no rig, there is no, I feel like you niggas think Norbs is behind this or some shit like that. You see the war report like, oh fuck Norbs, he's by himself in a fucking kitchen eating donut, doing a list by himself, like oh fuck you, fuck this, fuck. That's not what's happening here, people. That's all it is. Uh, Danny not being on the list, let's talk reality. They say they had a point system or whatever, but whatever they used, their system was flawed. Because anytime I don't make a top 10 list, then the system is flawed. You think that I want to backtrack right now. You would think that Jay Black wants to say, oh, I'm going to defend this. No. I want to dig deeper into the motherfucking fire. That's what Impressive. I want to do. And the reality is, I talk to a lot of people, 40, 50, yes. Every time I talk to him, and then Danny's name is being brought up a lot. So I asked him, hey, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? And the reality is, the consensus are saying that you only have two battles. Impressive. You said you face the toughest competition? Battling the toughest niggas, night in, night out, month in, month. Battling the toughest niggas, night in, night out, month in, month. I disagree. I disagree. We, what we got here? We got a radio battle. And I'm not saying these battles are whack. But in a large picture, large scheme of things, you got a radio battle with uh, Red Handed. Shout out to that guy. Don't know who he is. Uh, hopefully you want to come up. Diesel. Not super familiar with that guy. You got a, a five second battle with, with Daylight. It's under a minute to me. That's how I see it. It says five minutes here. Uh, who else we got here? You're arguing with Sue Surf. That was a good battle. Uh, the copyright battle. We talked about, they said, hell, oh, DNA and K-Shine is all gimmicks. This is literally a costume battle. So let me just disregard this. Come on. Let's be real, people. Danny Myers versus Heartless. People are disregarding these battles. Rex. I actually like the Rex battle. I, I mean, 
I liked what you was doing. I felt I felt I saw spurts of, of you, and I apologize in that video. I felt spurts of oh, Danny Myers can be this in that battle, but for other people, the consensus are saying that that battle worked against you. You paid twelve thousand, and, and this is what you got. You know what I mean? And it's not even at five hundred k, and that's view wise, that's your biggest battle. Danger zone, danger zone. This is the two battles you have. You have you have. Chill Jones and Danger Zone. And my thing is, I want to save you. I want to save you from the so-called fans. Who else you? You got Kane Marco. I'm not too much familiar with that guy either. Shout out to, to that person. You haven't faced the toughest competition. The reason why a lot of people are above you because they face better names on, on different platforms and or, or bigger stages. You up? And it ain't but, no Ralph though. Uh, it, it ain't, ain't Ralph but, but, level. But let me ask you this. I'm asking. What's you? the name of your clothing line? We don't know. Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Because... Oh, let's dig deeper into the motherfucking fire. Uh, I posted. I said in my last video, clips over Denny Myers. Even though clips is not on my list, let's defend that. Let's play devil's advocate. Charlie Clips had a better year than Denny Myers did. Chris Unbiased Review, very analytical person, just voted Charlie Clips versus Loaded Lux as the best battle of the year. Let's put all their battles on the tables real fast. I'm going to push aside Danny Myers versus Chilla Jones to the side. This is not in the equation right now. Loaded Lux versus Charlie Clips outweighs every other every other battle that Danny Myers did this year. And if you think about that, and get it back to me, that battle was impactful. So you had that. That's one battle from Clips. That's one battle. So now let's pile it on. So now you have all 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 Danny Myers. This is how I'm thinking. You got to work with me. All Danny Myers has left now is Danny Myers versus Chilla Jones. Cool. Charlie Clips versus T-Top. Let's say Danny Myers versus Chilla Jones is better than that. But you keep on adding stuff from Charlie Clips. Charlie Clips versus uh, Howl the Don. Those two battles are better than that now. Clips has a better year. Just like that. That simple. Made it that easy for you niggas. I think I think it's this I think it's the social networks and social media that's backing him this much. But the thing is, Denny Myers, they're not watching you, man. They're not watching you. They, they, they in the comments doing this and that, this and that. Oh, Denny Myers, this Denny Myers, that, but they're not watching you. If y'all love him so much, give him the views. Make him the man on paper. You know what I mean? Like, this is crazy. You got battles with 30,000 views. What is y'all doing? You got a big following like that that's saying that's that's telling you. Dang, Denny Myers snap. Put more views on that nigga, man. Buy his stuff. If, if, if Denny Myers came out with some shirts right now, a little shirt with like Denny Myers, a Yikes shirt, y'all wouldn't buy that shit, man. Y'all wouldn't buy that shit. Man, no, man. Let me hear the question, You don't have man. the answers. I'll let me tell you something. For the most part, the fans got you fucked up, Denny Myers. They got you fucked up. They don't care about growth. They're going to say you the man you had this. And if you had the same year that you had last year, they're fine with that. Next year, 2017, you have the same year you had in 2015. They're fine with that. Danny Myers, this and that. And you'll be in the same spot. You'll be in the same fucking spot. No fucking growth at all. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it's bullshit to me. It's bullshit to me, man. It really is. You got to do something different this year. And I think you already have been doing something different this year. You're going to have a better year than you did last year based off of what you said in interviews. I heard you. I'm, I'm listening to you. I don't. I don't jump on the camera and just say some random shit. I never do that. I talk to other people, and see. I try to get somebody that's gonna rebuttal my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, you said, "Oh, I'm not taking this guy." Blah blah. blah. You see the competition that I face or some shit like you said something along those lines, which means you care about your opponents. Danger Zone did the same thing too. Danger Zone said, "I want to battle here. I want to battle this and that. I want to do something different in 2016." So that means y'all want names, right? Y'all want names. You're battling B dot. Fire. You're battling Swave Sever. Fire. You're battling, you already battled Charlie Clips. Fire. You're already about to have a better fucking year than you did last year, my nigga. Are you serious? Are you this is this is growth. And now all you gotta do is show growth in in, in, in your delivery and all that shit. Growth in your pen game and shit like that, you know what I mean? Growth in your style. And that's it. That's it. 
These random battles, everybody, listen, everybody, these random battles don't make sense. They don't. And you don't care about the money too, so why take random battles? That's pointless, man. That's pointless. I'm sorry. That's how I feel from the jump. I said this on, on fucking footage three years ago. Random battles is what? No, I don't, I don't, rent. no, it gotta make sense. You have so much stock now, you can get people. After your swaves have a battle, depends on the outcome of that, you can get people. Who's your manager? If I was your manager, you would have been fucking top three on that list last year, man. Are you kidding me? Who's your manager? Danny, Danny Myers is not taking that battle. Danny Myers is not going to waste three solid fucking rounds on that person when he can spit to that person. And, and then fucking kill that person. Are you serious? Are you serious? And the reason I'm saying these things because I like Danny Myers. I think Danny Myers is dope. Danny Myers has passion. Denny Myers has that drive to be the next big fucking thing. It's a little bit of growth. A little bit of growth will make go a long way for Denny Myers. But y'all want to keep him the way he's at. Y'all want to keep him in the same spot. You tell me he battled five niggas that I don't even fucking know. And y'all, oh my God, he's going off. No, he's not going off. He's saying he's running on a treadmill right on that shit like that. Come on, he's not going off. He battled Chilla Jones. Yes, now he's going off. He's going off now. More battles like that. More battle like that, then he's going off. Battling the toughest niggas, night in, night out, month in, month. Let's get back on track real fast. You know, I veered off way off the point, you know what I mean? Get into so many other things. Let's get back to the list. Let's get back to Danny Myers and what he said in this interview. I already addressed it being rigged. Uh, that shit hot and loud brought up Tay Rock. And he immediately said, it's, oh, it's a popularity contest. So you got somebody like Tay Rock who's like a superstar so, in the URL. So, so here, here's a situation where it's not really based on the work you put in. It ain't based on the skills. It ain't based on your pen. It ain't based on the shows that you're putting on. It's based on popularity. How, Sway? How, Sway? Come on. So you telling me, you, you think you're supposed to be top three. You telling me you had a better year than Tay Rock? If anybody can say, oh, I face the toughest competition, T-Rock can say, hey, I face tougher competition than you, Denny. T-Rock can say that. Sue Surf, Calico, Briz, John John Adon, he arguably beat them. Now, I'm just thinking about Denny Myers and UFF. How long he lasted in that? Come on, people. Competition matters. Names matter. Come on, man. Like... I don't know what y'all smoking today, man. Uh, and I'm not saying Danny don't deserve to be on the list, but I, I want to make the argument that I can say he's not supposed to be on the list. You know what I mean? And again, we see... I'm not, no, no. Take, take five seconds. Pause the video. Look at this. Niggas in the panel... Niggas in the panel... About 10 people had Danny Myers on their list. Y'all make it seem like he didn't make not one person's top 10. He got points. Come on, people. Let's be real. Let's be real. Do you want to marginalize me till I'm out of my moment? Or what? I don't want to do this all day. Let's get into another person on the list. Uh, in ninth place, I think we got How to Don here. How to Don versus Denny Myers. Let's do that one right now. Uh, I think How to Don. How to, How to Don deserves to be on the list more than Denny Myers. Why is that? He had two battles this year: Pat Stay and Charlie Clips. But with that one battle, with those two battles, whatever, he solidified his spot as the current goat. When you do that, that's very impactful. That means you did what you were supposed to do in 2015. That's a big deal to me. Impact, people. Impact. Are you serious? Oh, he only had two battles. How? He only had one battle. How? 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 Come on, man. This is this reminds me of like, you know, that dude in school back in the day. I fuck more bitches than you. 
I fuck, I fuck, let's say in, nowadays, I fuck more bitches than you. I fuck way more bitches than you, nigga. You see the bitch she fuck is five ugly bitches. Just nasty looking, trifling. Why are you even talking to her? You know what I mean? She better have just gave her good head. That's about it. No ass. Titties beasting. Like, what are you doing? She looked like Chewbacca. And you bragging about her? What are you doing? I just fucked Tyra Banks' sister. They look just alike. That's the one person I fuck outweighs everything you just told me. What are you talking about? That's what that means to me, man. That's what that, I still live by my spot as the GOAT amongst my friends because I just fucked Tyra Banks' sister. And they look just alike. I'm in the money. That's what that does for me. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh. So when you're doing the list, you got to take in consideration everything, every component. That's how I do it. I don't necessarily do just wins and losses or, or, or quantity. I do quality, quantity, stage, impact, crowd. Every motherfucking thing, man. But it's your motherfucking boy, Jay Bragg.